we have to uh, address something today, uh, YouTube uh, viewers, uh, all five of you, maybe seven. Uh, yesterday, I, I made a video. I told a personal story about growing up with some individuals from high school, uh, some who pump gas to this day, uh, one who uh, was at a dead end in his life, and he kept getting these jobs and getting laid off, and he would work at uh, Toys R Us or a, a, a butcher factory and, and so on. And a reader, uh, his name, let me put my glasses on here, his name is working class punk mailman. He took issue. He thought I was showing some derision uh, toward uh, the working class. And I want to clear that up today. Uh, in his letter, uh, there was an expletive. Uh, I'm not allowed to say it, which is ironic. I mean, I do have a sailor's tongue. I, I was raised by a military man, my father, who had a sailor's tongue. <clears throat> but I'm not allowed to swear anymore now that I have uh, five year old twin daughters. The problem was swearing. Yeah, well, there are many, but here's one. If you swear around your little kids and they're going to school, you might get the call, the phone call. It's your kid's uh, teacher, and uh, she wants to tell you that uh, Natalie said blank, and I want to know where Natalie got this from. Hmm? And that's awkward, and you just don't want to do that. Plus, if parents find out that your kid's using that language, your, your kid gets ostracized. And the other thing is, I can't even use swear words on this YouTube video because um, my girls, they want to see my videos. Not because my videos are intrinsically interesting to them, but because I'm their dad. So I have to, I have to watch uh, my language. Forgive me, I digress. Uh, working class punk mailman wrote the following. So it sounds to me in this video... You look down at us working class types. I see nothing wrong with factory work or pumping gas. Some of us are proud to be working class and don't give a blank about what people think. A uh, college degree don't mean blank in my book when it's all said and done. Don't look down at people for what they do for a living, my friend. Well, let me clear this up. Uh, I don't believe in stereotypes of any kind, working class or any type of stereotype. I know gardeners who are supreme intellectuals, landscapers. They read Flaubert in the original French. I know attorneys, big shot attorneys who are illiterate and so banal, so boring, I, I can't even have a conversation with them for 30 seconds without wanting to die. So let's first get the, uh, the stereotypes out of the way. I, I don't believe in any kind of stereotypes based on uh, class. Uh, I want to address some other parts of his letter. Uh, the other thing was I was describing pathological behavior in that video of individuals not working class. I mean, I, I can talk about all types of pathological behavior. Three years ago, a student wrote an essay. Now, he lived in Palos Verdes where the houses are like $5 million dollars probably one of the most expensive places to live in the United States of America. And uh, a lot of the uh, people have white collar jobs, such as engineers. And uh, he wrote an essay about this guy in his neighborhood who was jealous because his neighbor bought a Lexus. So this engineer worked extra hours to not just buy the same Lexus, but a, an even bigger Lexus. And while he was working those extra hours, his wife had an affair with the neighbor who bought the smaller Lexus. Uh, pathological. Uh, no, I, I could go on and on. It, I could, it, had I been telling a story dealing with the pathologies I've seen from people who, who work in the white-collar jobs, I would have gone there. You know, that's, that's the nature of the beast. Uh, the other thing is, I have daughters. Let's say they're teenagers or they're 19 years old. If they're dating a working-class guy, and he has a good heart and a good mind and good character, I would rather they date him. I, if the alternative was some, uh, there's so many white collar sociopath types that I know who are dangerous to women. Uh, you know, if you're a sociopath, I don't care what your uh, work, working class or white collar, I don't care what you do. So really, you know, it's about your character. It's not about uh, whether you're working class or, or uh, white collar uh, uh, one other thing I want to say about uh, hard labor is that I have a colleague who uh, 
he's now in a managerial position at my uh, college. But uh, for many years, he was a uh, he was a contractor, and uh, he is so smart with his brain and his hands. It kills me. He knows how to do any kind of home repair. He knows how to do any kind of home construction you can think of. He's, he has what I call self-reliance. He doesn't have to rely on calling contractors. He doesn't have to rely on plumbers, electricians. He can do it all. And to me, he is the ultimate in masculinity. I would say he has more masculinity and intelligence in his pinky than 99% of the men I know. And uh, he represents someone from a, uh, a working class background who epitomizes uh, what, I, uh, what, I, what I admire. Uh, it's funny. I, I wish I had his skills. I wish I could wear one of those worker belts at Home Depot, those belts with the holsters and little pockets in them, and you put all your tools in them. I wish I could show up at Home Depot, you know, with my cargo safari shorts and my combat boots and my giant work belt and just buy a bunch of stuff, a bunch of supplies for a, a new kitchen for my house. Uh, that would be amazing. And that's not to say that I don't have some negative connotations with, with hard labor. I've done hard labor. When I was a teenager, I did demos of uh, butcher plants. And the demos were, where you're demolishing the entire plant and taking all the pieces apart st would start at 6 in the morning. You'd have to load the pieces on a flatbed truck. And I remember one time I didn't get home until midnight. And this type of work killed me. It beat me up physically and mentally. I was so brain dead. I didn't want to watch TV. I didn't want to read. I didn't want to talk to people. I just wanted to go to bed with my dirty clothes on. I really hated my life. And, and I think the type of hard labor I did motivated me to go to college because I just knew I wasn't a good fit for it. That doesn't mean that um, I look down at people who do hard labor by any chance. So uh, I hope I addressed everything in his letter. Uh, I just want to make it clear here that, uh, you know, when we're judging people, the job doesn't mean jack. Uh, uh, I know instructors who probably shouldn't have PhDs. Uh, I know people who do hard labor, who have higher IQs than a lot of instructors. At the end of the day, uh, forgive me for the cliche, it, it's about your character. It's not about the type of job you do. So I hope the gentleman uh, who took issue with that video uh, has some clarity on this video response. And uh, until then, I am out.